everybody, this is Saul, and welcome to another full Nova Zero guide for Skyrim. Uh, you can notice this one's going to be a little bit different today because we're not actually going to be playing the game exactly, but I'm going to show you something that's very important, very new, and very useful to playing this game. So there is now a Steam Workshop area, which lets you install mods very easily for Skyrim. And so I'm going to show you how to get there and how to install the mods. It's extremely easy and I don't think it will really have any any uh, problems with it. But uh, let's first go to the library for the game. So just click on library and go to Skyrim which I already have open here. And you will notice now an area in the middle for Steam Workshop and all you'll need to do is click on browse the workshop. So that'll take you to a new page on the browser. Now you'll notice right here there's already going to be some mods up at the front uh, ones that are probably popular and uh, and or just recently added and that's all fine and good but I'm sure a lot of you probably want to install some very specific ones so there is a little search here on the right hand side where you can simply type in something that you want to install so in this case I'll do Aerosmith kind of like I did on my blog earlier and now I have several different results for Aerosmith and I usually want to go with the one that has the most stars like this that usually tells you, oh, that's, this is the correct one. Uh, definitely look out for language packs. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't speak French, so I'm probably not going to grab that one. And uh, there's a Polish one over here, but I'm going to go to the English one right here. And uh, you will notice that there is a how to install guide on this. And so you should always pay attention to this if somebody puts a little extra tips or something like that. So not every not everyone is going to be quite that straightforward but in the case of Aerosmith um, all I really need to do is use the subscribe button so just click on the subscribe button and in this case that'll put me onto the subscription list and now it's going to be downloaded for Skyrim so I'm gonna go back to the library and I'm gonna click on uh, Skyrim and just play that Of course it opens up this window now you're gonna see something different here at the bottom there's a little status indicator and you're, what you're going to look for is when it says finish synchronizing subscribe mods that tells you that everything is installed for the mods that you've selected. All you need to do at this point is just make sure that it is installed via the data files area. Not every mod uses this but you do want to check every single time that you come in so you can see in this case I had Aerosmith and uh, I want it to be checked to make sure that I have it installed for the game and then of course just play the game and that should get you all set up and good and like I've said just make sure that you pay attention to that how to install if they have a guide like that I think most of the time they're not going to have that but if there is something like that you want to pay attention to it there may be something uh, special that you need to do on your end to, uh, to get it to work but other than that that's pretty much all you need to do and hopefully this can help you get to where you need to be in some way shape or form. I also do many other Skyrim videos and I hope to do many more in the future so please feel free to subscribe to my feed or check out my channel at Full Nova Zero. You can also visit my blog at fullnovazero.com. Thanks very much guys for watching. You have a good one.